Hello, this is Dr. Victoria Skirbo speaking to you from the Caesar Transformation Healing Center in Wareham, Massachusetts. I want to talk to you today about the astrology of Sunday, August 5th. Today, the moon starts the day in Taurus and then shifts into Gemini. Um, I believe it's like 9, let's see, when does that happen? 9.32 p.m. on the east coast of the U.S. So for all intents and purposes, the moon is in Taurus today. Um, we have an underlying um, tension. I mean, I say that every day, I think, and so I apologize for that, but I'm just reading the stars. Um, today's underlying intention has to do with um, the question of uh, truth, the question of um, uh, power, and um, whether or not um, whether or not those people in power are being honest with us. We have an in conjunct between Pluto and Mercury. Mercury is retrograde right now. And so we might see uh, some people in power sort of going back on what they've said, changing their story. Um, again, that's not that unusual these days, is it? So. Um, but what it really is about is the reason for the change of story or the change of of expression is because there's a pushback from uh, society. It's almost as if, um, you know, we've had enough and we're not going to listen to you anymore because you don't seem to be uh, telling us the truth. There needs to be some adjustment to the message. Um, so there's that. The other thing that's going on is that um, the the moon in Taurus, which has to you know a little bit stabilized some when it first moved into Taurus, it came up against uh, Mars square to Mars in, in Aquarius, and then the conjunction to Uranus, and so uh, the, initially that shift of the Taurus moon was not as stabilizing as as we have come to. Uh, appreciate it for. Of course now with uh, Uranus and Taurus, um, the moon and Taurus won't be the same uh, <laughs> probably for a good seven years anyway um, and by the end of that we would have um, been opened up to something new and something uh, different and something wider and, and, and bigger when it comes to issues of Taurus such as the earth and, and, and what our values are and issues around money and even even money itself will change uh, over the next seven years. So, um, But today we do have a square between uh, the Moon and Taurus and Mercury in, um, in Leo. Again, Mercury is, is retrograde. And um, so this is a, is it a last quarter moon? Hold on one second. It is not. It's a first quarter moon. So this is a crisis. We feel a crisis in uh, action. We feel um, that we need to take action on our ideas in order to bring stability into our lives. I can see that. And then the moon actually makes supportive connections to Pluto and to Venus. And uh, that uh, sort of shores up the moon. And uh, we have a lot of resourcefulness available to us, if not resources. Some people have resources, some people don't. But we all have resourcefulness. And then an ability to uh, figure out what needs to be adjusted, what needs to be changed. Um, so actually, kind of a... Um, not a, not a inordinately difficult day as we've had so many, um, but you know it has its challenges. But within those challenges is the seed for success, and so uh, take that success again with all the retrogrades, Mercury, Mars, um, in the sky. It's not about forward progress. It's about planning, okay, and it's about making the adjustments that you need to make so that when the time is right to move forward, uh, you can move forward unencumbered. Have yourself a beautiful day. If you enjoy these videos, press the like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel. 
If you'd like to contact me, you can get a hold of me on my website, thecesartransformation.com. I also have a Facebook page, the Caesar Transformation Healing Center, if that's easier for you. Uh, you can ask me questions. I'd be happy to answer them. And um, if you want a reading, we can set that up as well. Have yourself a great day, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Ciao.